All right, it's a million damn degrees here in Texas, and I am feeling hot and bothered enough to take on a legend. For months, I have been looking for a bourbon to take on the 800 pound gorilla in the bourbon world, at least in the whiskey tribe. Really nice, nice wild turkey 101. I've been looking for something that's gonna perform beautifully on the rocks. I have a world-class tea expert. I have an award-winning beer maker. I have a banana. An Oscar Wilde-esque hedonist and wine connoisseur, also Daniel, to go through a blind tasting with the Wild Turkey 101, the thing that the community keeps voting up in the polls is something that's a really good bang for your buck. It holds up well on ice. I'm gonna put it toe-to-toe -to -toe with something that I have found in our distillery. If people prefer this over the whiskey that I have chosen to live on the rocks and be beautiful for a longer amount of time, then I will take an ice bath. So the recipe is 30 bags of ice. <laughs> this is the bourbon we pulled. 115.6 proof, Indiana six years, baked through a Texas summer. This is rock hard. Not me, this. All right, Jeremy, we're gonna dive right in here. How are you doing, dandy. by the way? How are you doing? Just doing just dandy. I'm back. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. How you been, man? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acapon Brewing uh, in Dripping Springs. It's okay. just south of Austin. It's fantastic. Okay, so right now we're just gonna start with a neat pour. Okay. On your left is A, on your right is B, and then between those two, there's no right or wrong. It's just what's your experience and what do you prefer? I disagree. Okay. Yeah, I haven't had whiskey in a while. Mm. I'm like thinking of descriptors and I'm like, it's, it's like whiskey. Whiskey? Mm. Smells like whiskey. Smells a little uh, apple or something. A little bit of uh, apple, maybe a uh, honey. No. I'm getting some dark fruit, caramel, of course. Yeah. Maybe like plum specifically. This one's nice oak, a little bit orange, citrus. Almost a little uh, dusty wood. Okay. What about on the B? What are you getting? On those, I'm getting more like butter, like buttery sugar. Whoa. Whoa, this one's way sweeter. Like flat cream soda. Okay. There's like brown sugar and cinnamon in this one that's not in this one. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Yeah. What the f Excuse my French. That one's got a little bit more punch in it. It's pretty similar, but I mean, it's definitely burning now. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one better. Woo! Okay. I left a little steam. So little sweaty pits. <laughs> Little, little sweaty pits up in here. That's what it is, too. Yeah. So, between the two, what do you prefer? I think my right hand. Okay. I would prefer this one, probably. Yeah. I think I like this one better. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with B. Okay. This feels like, it feels a little raw. It feels a little like young, and it's got, it feels like it's got all these flavors poking out in different directions. This is like all those flavors have melded together. Now, we're gonna go into an on the rocks, Extravaganza, mm. an expedition, an exploration. We're gonna be waiting two minutes for these to get nice and cold. And, and diluted. Yeah, we're looking for an on the rocks experience. We okay. wanna see, is it holding up well? Is it bringing a So A, once again, on your left, B on your right. Uh, what is ice? Well, it's frozen water. Yes, good job. <laughs> Nailed. I'm just answering the question okay. as asked. <laughs> <laughs> so typically when my experience what happens mm -hmm. is the temperature buries some things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's sugar, yeah. actually. Almost always it's sweetness gets buried first. Right. And so you want something you put on the rocks to have other things and not just be sweet. Mm -hmm. Let's jump on the A. Let's see how that A is comparing. <sighs> Can't get a lot on the nose. That's ice for you. Yeah. A big old glass that's just pouring out all that nose. You can't really find it. It smells and then... cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it still smells a little bit medicinal type notes of the whiskey. Yeah. It has lovely little apple wood sort mm. of notes to it, but not a very profound nostril full. How is it Ooh, changing? It smells a lot sweeter and more caramely. Okay. Caramely, ice creamy, like a okay. very like a sherberty. Still got that apple in there, but it's like way in the background. It's like okay. you got sherbet and then there's an apple somewhere. Oh, that's nice. Actually took some of the sweetness away though. Sweet, simple, soft, little bit of tannin. Holy so, shit, it's like being beaten with a plank. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Oh. So let's, uh, let's get the me dead. Oh. Jesus! Okay, okay. What in the hell did you do to me, partner? <laughs> On your right, what's that experience? How does it compare? When it was first poured, it was quite lively mm -hmm. and has now become muted and demure in as moments. well. You have given me two lovely girls. Oh, I can actually smell some things. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Everybody yeah. shut up. Almost like cedar notes coming out of this. Okay. But everything else is turned down. Definitely hotter than that one. Okay. I got a lot more. This one's much hotter, but a little bit more demure. There's things there. Yeah. There's still body there. It's actually quite interesting. Yeah. In the mid palette of yeah. this one. So that's got to be higher proof, mm -hmm. and it just stood up to the rocks more. The sort of molassesy middle mm -hmm. that I loved in the new make, yeah, or the new the neat pour, yeah, yeah, still there. What are you preferring between these two? I think this one gets better. This one gets worse. Okay. This one is improved by the ice, yeah. and then this one is nerfed by the ice. On on the rocks, I would probably say B. Okay. I think I'm preferring the B. Though. Preferring the B. All right, yeah. two minutes in. B, no question. The next increment will be in five minutes. Maybe yeah. we should just stare at each other. Yeah. We can do a staring contest. That's one way to waste okay. time. Can we make each other flinch by like... No, that's like cheating. Punchy? <laughs> oh, I get to do one now. No. Uh, did I blink? I think, you did. I think I kept it. I think it was a flinch, yeah, not a blink. <laughs> oh, you're good. You got stone eyes. <laughs> you ready? Oh, that's ah! pretty good. Ah! <laughs> Our next visit to these is going to be five minutes in. Whiskey enthusiasts, whiskey connoisseurs, kind of, kind of mm -hmm. snobs, magnificent bastards, like they are all about the idea of adding drops of water to neat pour. Yeah. But whenever you add a chunk of ice and that ice is releasing water, it's like, yeah, uh, it's and a little changes bit, the temperature. Yeah, it's a little bit too of um, a blunt instrument. But so? But if the I mean, but like, if the goal is, is it good in a glass? Yes, yeah. and look, okay, a hammer is a blunt instrument, but sometimes you really need a hammer, Yeah. right? It's, that's just, sometimes that's what you want. It's like being mad at a Manhattan, which has whiskey in it, yeah. for not being a neat pour of rye. It is kind of it's the like, world's, come on. it's kind of like the laziest cocktail in the world. Yes, <laughs> not lazy, <laughs> Block of ice. awesome. Five minutes in, the A and the B, we're talking about the catalyst. What's the, where are we at? How has it changed from that first approach? It's got a much nicer mouthfeel because more of it's water now. Yeah. <laughs> it came back around a little bit. Okay. All the flavor shifted to the finish. Yeah. But it's a richer sweetness. Diluted. Yeah. Watered down. Still like the flavor, but yeah. it's kind of going away. So the trajectory for that wasn't very surprising. It's tracking with what you. That's expect. about what I would expect. Okay. All right, on the B, what are we doing? <laughs> don't, don't blink. Can we cleanse? Still not blinking. <laughs> Cleansing. My eyes are getting watery, your eyes are getting watery. Uh, my contacts are drying out. Still a lot of wood, a lot of structure on the back palette. And there's still that bitter note. Still better. Yeah? Yeah, a little bit of a Dr. Peppery note, kind of a, like yeah. a botanical yeah. sweetness. So you're, yeah. na you're naming different notes progressing over time. Yeah, it's changing. Yeah. Well, I should say it's not changing. It's it's like you're shining your light on a different part of the, everything that was in the neat glass. Okay. I think B is still carrying weight here. Yeah. A has kind of uh, gotten a little bit diluted. Yeah? Yeah. It's starting to dilute a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's still pretty nice. Five minutes in and it's holding strong. Mm -hmm. But those uh, sweeter, buttier, but <laughs> I find those butt flavors fun. I, I love butt flavors, <laughs> man. <laughs> <It's> delicious. <laughs> we haven't had nearly enough beer or whiskey. Uh, uh, <laughs> just wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so five minutes in, you still- Five minutes in. I think the nice. B is a little All right, right so. right I'd be reaching for B, okay. for sure. Oh, it's still, still B, B. Okay. yeah. I can still tell this is a better whiskey, you know okay. what I mean? But I enjoy this one more iced. We're gonna check back in in 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, we're just gonna let it keep falling. Are we really gonna go five minutes without blinking? I don't know if I can do this. It's starting to get blurry. Tears <sighs> filling my eyes. It's really okay, just, just, you can cry. No, wow. I got it, crying. Wow, oh, crying. Right. oh God. Oh God, I got Just blink, please. Blink. No. Oh, you blinked. Oh. No, that, was that was a blink. That was a blink. Oh god, I'm gonna lose one. All right, here we go. Oh shit! Wow, <laughs> your contact fell out. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm blind in one eye. Now. <laughs> so, ten minutes in, this has been <sighs> nice and chill. We got a lot of melt going into that. I'm not whiskey. smelling it. There's no point. Yeah. Fine. The uh, ice has still pretty much killed the nose. I mean, there's nothing there. It's kind of similar to five minutes. It hasn't really diluted a whole lot more. Much more of a classic bourbon mouthfeel now. I'm getting a lot more sensation from the sides of the tongue, not the back of the mouth. Even cheap whiskey mm -hmm. and ice and soda water and when go. it's a thousand degree Texas summer <laughs> is unbeatably refreshing, mm -hmm. but not a drink of sophistication. You know what? Yeah. I had 
uh, coconut water the other day. Yeah. This is getting close to, to like that level of just flavored water. It's nice. It's nice. It takes the edge off of it and it is more refreshing. You know, I think that it's nice that it can stand up to this kind of dilution. It was so strong at the beginning. Yeah. And now that it's diluted, it's actually kind of pleasant. All right. What about the B? How are we holding up? A lot of wood. Yeah. A little bit of bitterness. They're there, mm -hmm. but they're getting rounded off. Mm -hmm. All the corners are getting rounded off. All I taste is oak now, like alcohol and oak, yeah. and all of the complexity and nuance that it had at the beginning is just like washed away. Okay. It's actually still pretty damn good. All right. Yeah. Nice. Not so, sure what you're putting in there. <laughs> <laughs> this one's still showing up. Yeah. This one's still a little uh, pretty diluted. Mm. This is where this was at the five minute mark. It's very agreeable. Okay. Could be that I've just had, you know, two half glasses of bourbon and now the whole <laughs> world is a great deal more agreeable, but it is losing its hallmarks. Okay. This has more complexity of flavor at this point. Okay. This one has more volume overall, but it's the all base. Which, between the A and the B, which do you think is going to be the one that you're reaching for first? Still prefer this one, but this is now not much different than this one. B is buying you more time with yep. the flavor? I still prefer B. Okay. Yeah. I would definitely go for B. You know, if I'm sitting by the pool, I don't want to just be drinking watered down. Yeah. Whiskey. A is the hot weather formulation. Okay. Where I could add ice, I could add water, I could just play with it yeah. and drink it for refreshment. Yeah. I think there's naughtiness in the B that I'd like to explore at room temperature okay. in adult setting. I strongly preferred this one at the beginning yeah. and this one after 10 minutes of okay. evolution. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm going to reveal to you what we have okay. here. The A is going to be, this is Wild Turkey 101. Ah. Yeah. Oh, nice. And, oh. Yeah. Like, when of the most popular bourbons. They, they're talking it about bank for the buck, yeah, on the rocks. It's a bourbon that holds up well and it's got that one-on-one -on -one proof, which is respectable. B is a whiskey that we put together, specifically made for on the rocks pours. Yes, this is rock hard. This is rock hard. This is rock hard, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Rock hard bourbon. Yeah. You guys are getting fancy over huh? here. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Okay. That's pretty good. The Eleanor Mash Bill. Oh! Six years though. Okay. And a Texas summer. So this is a 115 proof. So this is cask. So Really? Yeah. That... This is stronger than 101? Yes, quite a bit. Huh. Even in the piss water state, yeah. it's got backbone. Yeah. It's got real presence in yeah, the yeah, wood yeah. and presence on the nose. I think it's relevant because so many people do whiskey with ice. I can't believe how quick the 101 bottomed out. Wow. I'm really surprised. Mm -hmm that, uh, for one, this is way better. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's still more defining personality qualities left yeah. in the rock hard than there is the, in the wild turkey. Thank you for yeah. liking the correct thing, Tommy. Of course. Oh my God. <laughs> That is a score of 11 to 5, and we left in the opinions. If somebody liked the 101 better than the rock card, then it was like, you know what? It's fair. Let's put it in there. So glad their opinion lined up with my own because I've been looking for months. Link in the description down below. While it lasts, we usually sell out pretty quick. So, Brianna, bit of a stickler, it turns out. She noticed that I didn't specify whether or not everybody had to like the rock hard over the Wild Turkey 101. So she's gonna put my ass in a bucket full of ice. Cool, here's the deal though. If this sells out within a week, then Brianna's gonna go in the ice bath next week. This episode is sponsored by NordVPN. Thank you, NordVPN. I've actually been using NordVPN. <laughs> I've been using NordVPN for years to connect to the internet. The thing with NordVPN is it's very simple to use. You think of something like servers and VPNs, you're like, what the hell is that shit? I don't know how to do that. You don't worry about it. It's easy. You click on it and then you're in another server. Now, why would you want to be in another server? Depending on the region that you're in, you're very likely getting blocked from a lot of the content on these content platforms like your Netflix that you would otherwise be able to see if you were in a different region. I was in Ireland recently, started up a show, it's freaking amazing, I get back to the States and I can't watch it, but I used my NordVPN account in holy hell, and I can watch the show again. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> 
you have the encryption, you have the privacy. It makes your connection to the internet that much more secure. Safeguard between you and all the malicious nonsense that's going on in the internet. Um, 30 day money back guarantee? Yes, for how, how long? 30 days, yeah. And also there's a 30 day money back. <laughs> It's worldwide access, it's super fast, you can connect from all of your devices and virtually connect anywhere in the world. Like sports, you're watching sports and all of a sudden you can't find your team. Why? Can't find your team. Your sport, stop, this is not, need, does not need more ice. They don't track or collect They don't data. track or collect your data. Right, it's very got private. It. That's good, that's yeah. good. All oh, serve it yeah. are in 60 countries. 60 countries. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Okay. Should we check it? Yeah, Alex, just, do you yeah, need yeah, to look yeah, at yeah it? double check it. Hmm. Light There's cold. like a crust Hold of on. ice up here. So right now you can get a huge discount on a two-year plan. You're gonna get four additional months for free. If you go to nordvpn.com slash whiskey tribe, lock that in. It's not always that good, so go ahead and grab it now. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> get out of here! Oh. You get out of here! <laughs> also, I won. No, but I didn't cry, mm. which makes me cooler you than you. You literally cried a contact lens onto the table. I didn't cry it. I dried it out so much yeah. because I'm so fucking hard. hard. And you yes. cried like a little, little bitch. bitch. Yeah, like a little, little tiny, tiny bitch. bitch. Why does... Why <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to all the guests who helped us out for this blind tasting. It's a link down in the description below while it lasts. So okay. talk to me more about West China Tea. So we're doing a fundraiser right now to get back to China oh, nice. to make a documentary series. Doing these deep dives, having these beautiful close-ups of the processing of the tea, the making of the tea. So cool. we're doing a fundraiser for that right now. That is the big deal at West China Tea right this minute. <laughs>